We had some of the people who were going to talk to you guys live, but uh, we were separated because of what happened. Um, and the crowd kind of almost kicked us out of the house there. But uh, basically what they're demanding now is that they are at, they, they, they told me that they had a meeting uh, last night. And what came out of that meeting is that the revolutionaries in Tahrir Square um, want to call on the uh, Supreme Council of Armed Forces to step down from rule. They want them to leave the government, the governing of Egypt, and instead have a civil, a civil council, uh, kind of almost like a civil parliament, rule the country, and it would be elected by the people uh, and for the people. All right. Because they, they believe that. Uh, the military council right now is being unreceptive to their demands. Okay, and, uh, yes, we got it, Reem. since January. All right, Reem. Thank you very much. We'll be uh, you be updating us with the latest uh, as it happens throughout the day. And we have with us in the studio Dr. Uh, Ragda Saeed, human relationship expert. Thank you for joining us again. Mm -hmm. So, um, first of all, your reaction to the situation now in Tahrir, and of course, that's a reaction to uh, the prime minister's uh, decision in the last few days. I see this reaction as a pure democracy because mm -hmm. actually um, democracy means demos and kratia. Demos is the people and kratia is the governing or ruling of, of the people. We, weren't, we didn't see any democracy throughout our lives, all, I think, whoever. I think when, before we were born it was something called autocracy. Autocracy is the, the ruling of one, one person or one big party. And this was actually what we were living in through the whole year, the, the whole decade. So what I see in Tahrir right now is pure democracy. People are forcing the government to apply democracy. They weren't applying democracy and actually uh, I think they are underestimating the mentalities of Egyptians. Uh, because uh, we have demands and we, we, we said these demands five months ago. What happened? What are they doing? They are minimizing, actually, every Friday, as you said before, every Friday when we go, or everyone goes to, the, to Tahrir Square, they say, okay, we'll minimize it and uh, spend your day and go home and go to work. This is a very logic uh, sequence of, of what's happening, of minimizing these issues. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, we didn't get our demands. We had two really negative speeches lately that depressed and frustrated everyone. We weren't waiting for, um, you know, uh, like having committees and making uh, um, like uh, facilities to, to make an, uh, um, rec recruitment, uh, health and these things. This is not the issue. We want, you know, restricted or stricted um, decisions and, and rules to, to be taken. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Rada, as a human relationship expert, do you think that uh, such dissatisfaction is turning into mounting anger that is taking uh, the form of civil disobedience now? And how do you see this? Actually, it's, I, I told you it's logic. When you uh, get a, a boiler and the steam is inside it and it's boiling. Logic boiling. or justified? Both. Mm -hmm. Actually, both. If we, are, if we want to apply real democracy. Mm -hmm. If we are in a democratic country, if we are not in a democratic country, this won't be justified and won't be logic. Mm -hmm. But are we in a democratic country or not? Mm -hmm. If it is a democratic country, then the people have to be obeyed, respected and listened to. But do you think that such a form of uh, dissatisfaction is turning uh, more, is yes. going to take a more violent uh, form? I guess so. I guess so and actually uh, of course, nobody loves or, or, or lean to violence, but actually, do they have anything else but violence? But this, the, the revolution itself came was by very peaceful. peaceful. Exactly. So was very peaceful. Who led it? The trade this, of. It's not the people who led it, it's the government who led it, actually. Sorry to say so, but it's the government that led it to this. Where are the procedures taken five months ago? It's the same uh, words that we were hearing, and we actually we, we, we lived in um, manipulations for 30 years. So it was like a conspiracy theory. Everything we hear, 
It's not uh, what we want to, to hear or something, and everything is bluffing, you know. Everything is going around, there is no direct... And that was the same mistake that uh, was committed by uh, former President exactly. uh, Hosni Mubarak, uh, giving um, disappointing speeches to the people, not fulfilling their uh, aspirations. Long so introductions, the, the, the yes. same mistake is being repeated again. But again, the whole world hailed Egypt's revolution as a peaceful one. Exactly. And the Egyptians maintained a very civil peaceful and coordinated uh, said a very important part Hala. so now we're, we're going into a very uh, dangerous the whole zone world, the whole world respected it and acknowledged it what did our government do the whole world accept, yeah, accepted and respected it and uh, you know they uh, they were so proud of the Egyptians and so what are we going to stay like this and manipulation, manipulation changes and nothing is taken, no, no, no rules is taken. So we want to apply this democracy. Actually, maybe if, if I was uh, interviewed three or four months ago, my, 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 uh, my words would have been changing in accepting others' opinion. I used to say that people became aggressive after the revolution because they are um, protecting their child. The revolution is like their child. They are protecting it. So whenever anybody says anything, they just fight for, for, for the, this revolution and defend it by their own uh, heart. Mm -hmm. So they stop listening to any opinion. Nowadays, I think I will justify this. <laughs> Actually, we need to hear, uh, convince us by, by these uh, decisions that were taken. Convince us that they are going to be, be, the, be held or be uh, executed or something. There's a situation coming up now that we are in a transitional period and we've got elections coming up in September which are considered crucial because if nothing changes then these elections will lead to the people who will uh, make the constitution which will really formulate our lives. Uh, and now there are uh, a lot of concerns uh, on, on other issues uh -huh. and we're forgetting the elections uh, in the meantime and, and, and there are afraid, uh, and people are afraid that there are other powers who are preparing themselves for this election and they're prepared. ready and, and they're ready for it. Yeah. So are, are we going to, are you moving on two flanks, a flank to, to, to prepare yourself for the elections or the groups who prepare themselves for the elections and also for the protests taking place? Actually we lack the culture of uh, democracy or freedom. We need, we need to, um, to let people accept any, anything in the elections even if it is against your will. So what, what if uh, three people uh, were elected to, to be a president and there are three different people and about 10 million uh, went to the elections and he, someone got 5 million and other, the two others got 5 million. Then there are 5 million who can go on to protests again and revolution, exactly. another <laughs> new revolution. So we don't want this actually. People must go a parallel. I can work in two projects together. They have to, to um, without, you know, without these um, um, uh, Fridays and Saturdays now, without this we these weeks, we, wouldn't have, we would not reach a good constitution, we wouldn't reach good election. Maybe the election would be uh, delayed after these mm -hmm. this, uh, stops and these uh, um, stances, mm -hmm. as they say. And the security situation yes. as well. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The and we need this culture side. to be applied. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dr. Ragda, thank you very much thank for being with us much. this morning. Thank you all for being with us this morning. This wraps up this edition of The Breakfast Show. Thank you all for being with us.